Hi, I'm Professor Silver, and today I'll be chronicling the history of Ash's Lucario, detailing everything that happened in Journeys after it evolved from Riolu. I've already tackled its history as a Riolu, so I'll only be including a short summary of what happened before it evolved. To go in-depth on Lucario's pre-evolved adventures, check out my class on Riolu's history. I'll include a link to it in the description. This video is brought to you by Aura. As a refresher, Ash got Lucario as an egg. The egg had traveled all throughout Sinnoh, but didn't stir until sensing his aura. Once united, Ash and Riolu became a formidable team. They were so in tune with each other that even Pikachu got jealous of their union. Eventually, Riolu evolved while fighting Chairman Rose during the darkest day. By evolving, it gained increased strength, enhanced aura power, and mastery over Aura Sphere. The first two things it did in its evolved form were beat Rose's Pokemon and weaken Eternatus for Go. Aura Mastery gave Lucario the strength it needed to defend itself, as it allowed it to manipulate energy, synchronize with Ash, and sense its surroundings. Similarly, in the real world, our sponsor Aura gives users the defense they need to protect themselves from hackers, spammers, and robocallers. Although it doesn't obliterate them with key, Aura does the next best thing. It identifies data brokers exposing your information and submits opt-out requests on your behalf. As a one-stop shop, Aura does a ton to protect you and your family from unseeable threats. Besides identity theft protection, it also provides you with a secure VPN, a handy password manager, antivirus software, and much, much more. I love that Aura will notify me if any of my personal information leaks online, as I pretty much think about Pokemon 24-7 and don't really have the time to monitor the web for all the nefarious criminals that are trying to steal my info. So you can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information, or you can go to aura.com dash alexsilver to start your two-week free trial. It's also linked below in the description. And now back to Lucario's history. Following the darkest day, Lucario fought in many major battles. The first of which, in getting more than you battled for, was a team up with Ghost Cinderace against the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. They lost to the Psychic type, but that they lasted for more than a few seconds against the world's strongest Pokemon was impressive within itself. Lucario and Cinderace joined forces again in a close call practically. Their getting stuck to each other annoyed Lucario, but it learned to tolerate Cinderace's friendship by episode's end. Together, they survived many obstacles like hardened glue, fighting types, and Team Rocket. In addition to fighting alongside Cinderace, Lucario also flexed its muscles by training with Dragonite in Trials of a Buddy Master, fending off poachers and healing the healer, and using Aura to locate Bruxish in All Out all of the time. During both the Trials episode and the episode Beyond Chivalry aiming to be a League Master, it was revealed that Lucario had fought in many off-screen coronation battles. In the Ultra class, Lucario debuted on-screen opposite Volkner's Luxray in Ultra Exciting from the shocking start. Luxray set up electric terrain, broke through Aura Sphere, and used Rising Voltage, so Ash opted to conserve Lucario's strength for Electivire. Opposite Electivire, the Fighting Steel type withstood the collision of Aura Sphere and Fire Punch, used Double Team, evaded Wild Charge, and launched Aura Sphere. Although Electivire blocked the blast and shot off Fire Punch, it then tagged in Fan Rotom. Rotom nearly won the showdown by using Hex and Air Slash, but Lucario held strong, activated Revenge, and seized an epic victory. The loss led Volkner to bring back Luxray. The Gleam Eyes Pokemon ended Lucario with Electric Terrain and Rising Voltage, but fell at the same time to Aura Sphere. In my opinion, Lucario's tying with the same Pokemon that once plagued Infernape proved that it was ready for Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution had been a dream of Lucario ever since it first saw Karina's Mega Lucario battle Ash. Ash wanted Lucario to Mega Evolve as well, because he thought it would help him win the Coronation series. In Adventure of Mega Proportions, Karina helped Lucario unlock its ultimate form by giving it and Ash a keystone. The stone supercharged Lucario's aura, so it had no issue sensing a Mega Stone on Mega Island. It earned the stone by guiding Ash to the island, saving him from a fall, and fighting Gherkin's Mega Alakazam. Thanks to Lucario's Mega Form, it was extremely confident during Ash's Ultra Class match with B in the episode Battle 3 with B and a battle of Mega vs. Max. Despite its confidence, however, it still struggled against its first opponent. Graplock used Liquidation and Detect to prove why it was once considered Riolu's greatest rival. The pressure on Lucario only grew after B summoned Halucha. Before getting recalled itself, 
Paulucha did major damage using high jump kick, wing attack, and sky attack. It was after B brought forth Machamp and ordered bullet punch that Ash finally considered using Mega Evolution. He decided against it though, as Lucario thought the time not right. Following a smack from Cross Chop and a brief break, Lucario returned to the field so as to serve as Ash's final hope against Grapplocked. Doing what it couldn't do as a Riolu, it overpowered Liquidation and won the battle. The victory was significant, as Riolu had never beaten Grapplocked. Once B was down to her last Pokémon, she summoned and then Gigantamaxed Machamp. In response, Ash Mega evolved Lucario. To deplete Machamp's upgrade, Mega Lucario traded Aura Sphere for Max Steel Spike, tanked Max Strike, landed Force Bomb, took major damage from G-Max Chi Strike, and connected with Aura Sphere. Even when Machamp was back in its base form, it still proved a major threat. Thanks to the effects of Chi Strike, its chances of critical strikes had skyrocketed. When Machamp tried to push its advantage with Bullet Punch, Lucario countered with Force Bomb. As the move hit its target, it upgraded into Steel Beam, winning Ash the match and advancing him to rank 36. Lucario followed up the win with a series of fun adventures. It produced Sonar with Go's Chinchou and looking out for number 2, got kidnapped in the Gates of Warp, briefly devolved into Riolu in Showdown at the Gates of Warp, and blasted off the trio in The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. All the adventuring drove Lucario to strive for greatness, but did little to help against a wild Articuno in battling in the Freezing Raid. Rather than beat the legendary, it fell without doing any major damage. Likely so as to make sure it never lost like that again, Lucario threw itself into training. It trained with Clement's Diggersby in the future is now thanks to strategy, and Ash's Dragonite and Go Cinderace at the start of the episode catching the aura of fate. In that same episode, Lucario also studied under Greninja, as Ash was motivated by the evolution of Go's Froki to go to Kalos and seek out his Colosian Ace. Ash thought Greninja would be a great mentor for Lucario, as both Pokémon wanted to be the very best there ever was. In addition, he also felt that the bond he shared with each of them felt entirely similar. By introducing them to each other, Ash hoped that Lucario would bolster its power and strengthen its bond with him. Lucario's getting stronger was of the utmost importance, because Ash was soon slated to fight Dragon Specialist Raihan. Whoever won their showdown would go on to compete in the Masters 8. Initially, Greninja intimidated Lucario. In their first meeting together, the Colosian Ace did what the Aura Pokémon couldn't and destroyed the roots that threatened them. Failing hurt Lucario's pride, so it challenged Greninja to battle. Regrettably, the battle was a total mishap. Ash sensed all of Greninja's movements, but Lucario was blinded by emotion and unable to process his orders. It quit the match without ever answering Ash's call for Mega Evolution. It's after Lucario ran away in shame that it finally became Greninja's protege. Greninja saw it as a kindred soul, so he used the ripples of water to teach it how to better manipulate Aura. The lesson proved incredibly fruitful, as Lucario would later use what it learned to perfectly synchronize with Ash and destroy roots with an Aura Sphere so large that even Goku would have been impressed by its splendor. When it came time to battle Raihan and aim for the 8, Lucario was more than ready to win. It wasn't able to Mega Evolve during the battle, as Gengar had already used Ash's one and only gimmick, but Lucario wasn't at all scared by Duraludon's Gigantamaxing. After Lucario activated Double Team and fired off Aura Sphere, it pushed onward by withstanding Max Steel Spike, G Max Depletion, and Max Rockfall. To win the match, it synchronized with Ash and let loose a massive Aura Sphere. In preparation for the Masters 8, Lucario visited Alola in helping the hometown hero, sparred with its teammates in chasing to the finish, and underwent training at Oak's lab. While at Oak's and friends rivals Lend Me Your Spirits, it trained with Heracross, Buizel, and Halucha, and also battled Paul's Gyarados. At first, Gyarados had the upper hand. It destroyed Double Team, intercepted Aura Sphere, and landed Ice Fang. Luckily for Lucario, though, it freed itself, unveiled its new move Bullet Punch, and earned an epic win. The win not only pleased Lucario's mentors, but also confirmed its readiness for the Masters 8. During the tournament, Lucario entered the battle with Cynthia as Ash's last man standing. It battled her Pokémon during the episodes Valor, a strategic part of battling, and Whittle while you work. Lucario fought with unrivaled ferocity because Ash, Pikachu, and Cinderace all offered their support. To start off against Togekiss, it punched Air Slash, landed Bullet Punch, flinched due to Serene Grace, and repelled more Air Strikes. It was after Togekiss Dynamaxed that Lucario unleashed its full power by Mega Evolving into its ultimate form. 
Togekiss used three max airstream attacks one after another so as to increase its speed, but Lucario withstood them all. To do so, it ran through an airstream, landed a series of blows with Bullet Punch, tapped into its connection with Ash, and unleashed Aura Sphere. Impressively, Lucario's passion was so palpable that even Greninja sensed its aura. After Togekiss went back to its normal form, it proved itself still a speedy threat. It dodged many hits and led off Sky Attack. That said, Mega Lucario still won the battle as it activated Double Team and fired off Bullet Punch. With Cynthia down to her last Pokemon, she then called forth Garchomp. Only one gimmick could be used per battle, so Garchomp couldn't Mega Evolve. Despite the setback, however, she still put up a massive fight with Scale Shot. Mega Lucario stopped her assault and let off Bullet Punch, but she matched each punch hit for hit with Dragon Claw. After the two of them traded many powerful blows, they each gathered all their power and let off one last attack. Fortunately for Ash, Mega Lucario emerged the winner as it used Reversal on Dragon Claw. Since Garchomp was once considered the strongest non-legendary in all the anime, the win totally vindicated all of Ash and Lucario's training. During the Masters 8 finals and toying with your motions, Mega Lucario was instrumental in beating Leon's Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme dodged Bullet Punch and landed Triple Axel, but Mega Lucario stuck to its instincts, sensed its opponent's location, and struck it unconscious with Aura Sphere. In the Mega's next matchup, it fought Dragapult. It opened with Double Team and Bullet Punch, but Dragapult's subsequent flamethrower led Ash to swap in Dracovish. The reprieve didn't last long, however, as Dragon Tail quickly forced a switch back. Upon returning to the field, Mega Lucario launched Bullet Punch and used Reversal against Thunderbolt. It prevented any major damage, but was left paralyzed in the process. As a result of the paralysis, it couldn't move when getting roasted by Flamethrower and fell in defeat. Luckily for Ash, though, the rest of his Pokémon beasted the battle as well, leading him to win the Masters 8. The win thrilled Lucario, likely because it sensed Ash's joy, and also because it had finally proved itself as one of the strongest fighters in the Pokémon world. After the competition's end, Lucario made one last appearance in Journeys. In it, it joined Pikachu and Cinderace against Lugia. None of the three seized victory, but they all fought with major zest. Since that concludes Lucario's history through Journeys, Let's get to its battle record. Including its wins as a Riolu, Lucario beat Wild Onyx, Ash's Farfetch'd, Go's Farfetch'd, Tony's Electabuzz, Rose's Ferrothorn, Rose's Copperaja, Team Rocket's Sock, Volkner's Fan Rotom, Bee's Grapplocked, Bee's Machamp, Raihan's Duraludon, Paul's Gyarados, Cynthia's Togekiss, Cynthia's Garchomp, and Leon's Mr. Rhyme. When also including its losses as a Riolu, it lost to a Perugly, Bees Graplocked, Octillery, Tentacruel, Mewtwo, Articuno, and Leon's Dragapult. Across both evolutionary forms, it tied with Bees Graplocked and Volkner's Luxray. Move-wise, Lucario used Aura Sphere, Bullet Punch, Double Team, Force Palm, Reversal, Steel Beam, and as a Riolu, it also used Vacuum Wave. When it comes to battling, Lucario was one of Ash's greatest Pokémon. Its beating of Garchomp will likely go down as one of Ash's most impressive accomplishments. The victory proved it worthy of Ash's ultimate team. That said, I have three major complaints about the character. First off, I think that the writers should have done a better job at differentiating it from Greninja. One way that they could have done this was by focusing its storyline more heavily on the mythology of Aura. Secondly, I would have loved to see its storyline touch on its connection to the Lucario owned by Sir Aaron. And lastly, I wish Ash would have caught it in Diamond and Pearl. On that note, class is adjourned. Big thanks to Aura for their support. To try the service out for yourself, make sure to click the first link in the description. My name's Professor Silver. Until next time, catch you later.